In 1975, a 24-year-old engineer walked into Kodak's offices holding a strange homemade device. It was heavy, it was ugly, and it took 23 seconds to take a single black and white photo. But this little box was about to change the world because it was the first digital camera ever made, and Kodak buried it. His name was Steve Sasson, and an engineer fresh out of school assigned to explore this new thing called a charge-coupled device, or CCD. Sasson wondered, what if we use this to capture light digitally? No film, no chemicals, just data. Kodak told him, sure, try it, just don't expect much. So he built it, a camera the size of a toaster, made from spare parts and a lens from a Super 8 movie camera. Resolution, 0.01 megapixels. Image stored on a cassette tape. And to view the photo, you needed a custom-built machine. But in that moment, Sasson had invented something revolutionary, photography without film. When he showed it to Kodak executives, they were impressed, but terrified. The message was clear. This is interesting, but don't tell anyone. Why? Because Kodak was film. They made billions selling film, paper, and chemicals. A digital camera didn't just disrupt Kodak. It murdered their entire business model. And Kodak's le leadership made a clear choice. Hide it. Pretend it didn't exist. Keep selling film. For the next two decades, Kodak patented digital tech, but never committed to it. Meanwhile, Sony, Canon, and Nikon sprinted ahead. Digital cameras exploded in the 90s and early 2000s. And in 2012, after dominating photography for a century, Kodak filed for bankruptcy, all because of a camera invented in their own lab. Today, every phone, every DSLR, every webcam, they all use the ideas inside Sasson's first camera. He didn't just build the device, he started a digital revolution. And for Kodak, ignoring it was the most expensive mistake in tech history. So the next time you take a photo on your phone, remember, it all started with a clunky eight pound box in 1975, a camera too advanced for the company that invented it.